Well, people, this is what it's all about. Project today. I got some noisy neighbors, too. But that's all right. I, I return the favor. Well, this is the third year for the saw bench here. And I think it's time for an upgrade. There's a couple things. Oh wait, I don't need that. I'm a half mile from anybody. But we're gonna work on the rebuild of the saw station. And that'll be next. This is all firewood that I made this from. Screwed in place. And you can see quite a bit of them have uh, broken off. It's firewood. It wasn't meant to be structural, but I do have some structural stuff to put on here. And it was also going to be firewood. And I'll show you what that's all about. So we've got our sawmill here. And as you can see, I've already cut up a log or two. This thing works great yet. I did lose the original tank. It was plastic and the sun doesn't like plastic so it destroys it so I made that one out of metal it works well we got our water on and off right here I guess a we got us wood from the woods in the lumber that's what I'm going to make the uh, new saw station out of Well, here's just some of the logs that I turn into lumber. This will be the deck. It's not tall enough to put a roof on the way I want to build that. I want to build it with a platform about two feet off the ground. That way the table is up higher so I can pull my trailer under the outfeed and stuff will drop into the trailer much easier. So this is the way I'm going to build it. You have me a raised deck. Stand on, deck up above. Well, here's a pro tip for you. I had to go get another blade out of the pack of blades. And if you just throw it on the way it unwound, look at the teeth. The teeth have to be going that way. Hmm, this blade's backwards. I can't turn it upside down because 
cutting edge is on the wrong side. So what do you do? How about you turn your blade inside out. Being very careful that bear trap don't catch you. Because these are sharp. There, now we got it going the right way. You can use that trick on your bandsaw when it isn't cutting very well either. You just may have it inside out. Well, there you go. That didn't take long to take that from a log to a cant. A cant is a square part that's inside the log, the biggest you can make for a square or a rectangle. And we cut that up. This is very wet wood. Uh, the top blew out of it uh, last year, and it was just standing there waiting to be cut down. No top to it. It's, it's good and wet, so I cut it good and thick. So we're going to go ahead and use this for our building material and as it shrinks it will uh, maybe need to be tightened up but All right, this is going to be the working deck, and that's going to be uh, up in the air about six feet. So what I have to do is tip it up on end, build the legs, and then push it over. Sounds easy, right? Yeah, we'll see how easy that is. All right, so we've got it set five feet to the deck. Two feet is where the steps will be, so it'll be a three-foot table. And then I have another three feet out the top for nine feet total. This is the front. The back only needs the legs. It doesn't need the extra extension. So we'll get this screwed on, and we'll see about getting that end put together then. That's next. All right, here we go, guys. I checked with uh, 
the building inspector to see if that uh, farm jack would uh, do this. He says, eh? Anyway, we've got the two legs there that are long. The roof's going to be on here. I put supports down here to stop the piece from moving back. I have X brackets in. I have a temporary brace on the uh, table part. We'll set you up here and see how this thing works. Fingers crossed. All right, guys, we're that far. That means we're past the point where it's the heaviest. At least that's what the math says. So I'll go in here and I'll just push it on over the rest of the way. What, you don't believe me? Well, watch. Well, there we are, boys and girls. And you see here, we're sitting on top of those pegs. That's nice. Over there as well. Everything uh, worked out great. Now what I'll be doing right here at this level is putting a platform and then that I'll walk across. That way this will be three feet tall to the, uh, from the, where you're standing to the table itself. That'll make for a nice saw bench. This way I can pull the trailer in right here, right alongside here and everything that's cut off will drop straight into the trailer. No muss, no fuss. At least that's the plan. Tomorrow I'll uh, go ahead and make the ramp. We'll get the uh, saw set up. We'll have us a stop here. It'll be wonderful. I might have to move that post. I didn't remember it being that close to the front. So we'll take care of that. That'll be an easy one now that this is put together.